Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 42 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolado. Joining me today is Christian Tolado. Now, I always feel that my mic is always lower than yours. Because it's not next to your face. Now, I'm going to call out a conspiracy. Look, look at the I'm board. I'm going to call out a conspiracy. Look at the board. You're trying to drown me out. <laughs> right? Ladies and gentlemen, take note of how far away the mic is from Christian's mouth. It's not far at all. No. Th- not far at all. I think this is a conspiracy. It's at not hand. my fault you don't know how to work the mic. I think this is a conspiracy at hand. Alright? Yeah. Alright. They like, got me completely off track, Christian. So let's talk one piece, let's talk shop. Sure. What are we doing today? We're doing a chopper fucking drum island recap. This bridges the gap of all the arcs until the end uh, Water 7. Yes. So after this, we'll do a thrill bark. Yes. And then the, then we can go forward. And then we can do. Impel Down and Marineford. Oh, people are excited about that. Now, Amazon really does that count as Impel Down. Some people say it does. Because it's the way to get... How many arcs? Uh, how many, I mean, how many volumes? Impel, Amazon is like maybe a volume. Then it counts. Impel Down counts as... Uh, yeah, we're not going to do a Amazon volume really. recap. Yeah, yeah, you know. My anyway, we'll be, doing, we'll be going over the new Viva kind of information because we've got legit of it. Reasonable source. source. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. From the Library of O'Hara blog. Uh, we'll be doing the power scale and go through your questions, talking about how strong Shanks is, as always. And I have a spicy one for you this week. Now, Christian, talk to me about what's been going on in the One Piece community. Well, no chapter this week. It was dead. Death. There's a couple of theories coming out. Yep. About just common common things everyone already knows. Okay. Uh, you know, no, nothing, nothing great. You know, just, you know, standard affair. The tide on Whole Cake Island is turning. (sighs) And we called it. Mate. Mate. And we called it. What did we say? As soon as we get to Wano, people are just going to remember the hype that was Whole Cake Island. And it's already starting to happen. Here we are. You know why? Because it was always a great arc. And people just got caught up in their own hand cannon. They got caught up in the one or half train. They got caught up on not understanding the nuances of the characters, Christian. Exactly. Hokkaido Khan, great arc. We've already said this multiple times on the show. In fact, you could say that's the first 25 episodes. Yeah. But now we're one. No, the first 25 episodes is us speculating when Sanji's getting a fight. Turns out it sure. never happened. Uh, well, you know, we're still waiting. Yep. Is uh, Sanji going to fight Jack? We'll find out. Not, one shot not Jack, Jack. Sure. Now, Christian. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Jump Forces? What 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 you read? There was a, first there of was, all, there was a beta. First of all, watch what the Jojo show. Like sure. the Jojo show. Comment on the Jojo show. Doing well. It's doing well, but I don't know how well. As I said last week, because you know, can't get those analytics. Yeah. That I actually know. What the you know the blah, 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 whatever the numbers are now. Jump Forces. We had a beta. <laughs> and uh. From our man Silvers. Our boy Silvers. Got a code sure. for the beta? It seems like everyone got a code for a beta if you had a PS4. Yeah. So look, like you, did, you didn't get rejected. Okay. So, uh, we don't have any 4th gen consoles. I mean... That aren't Switch. We're, we're, we're not plebs here. Well, we're PC Master Race over here. That's right. But, you know, PC doesn't get betas because, you know, the hackers. Or oh, Japan. But, I'm getting good work. It plays well, apparently. <laughs> I've heard equally as good as Burning Blood. Does that get you excited? Burning Blood, okay. No Shanks in it. Sure. No Wipe in it, no Mihawk in it. Yeah. No Bite. No Dio. No Ultimate Muscle. Yeah, if Rowan or Zoro is rumoured to be in Soul Calibur 6. I'm so... It's just YouTube videos getting me hyped for the game. Okay. And, and nostalgia for Soul Calibur 4. It's getting me hyped for Soul Calibur 6. If Rowan or Zoro is in it... Uh, a buy. Uh, Smash is coming out too soon. Yeah. But, Jump Forces, I've heard, quote-unquote, from my man Silvers, plays like Burning Blood, uh, Ninja Storm Games, and something else. Just visually, aesthetically, looks like hot garbage. Uh, too many particle effects. Too All many right. particle effects, one. Uh, one Piece suffers the most from the, from the art. Okay. Because of Oda's unique art style. Yeah. One Piece suffers the most. 
It's got some weird texture issues with ice with lava, like most games that aren't high budget do. Yeah. Although, yeah. Christian, forget about Jump Forces. Jump Forces, well, still well, still pending. One Piece, write... one Piece World Seek is coming out next year, earlier this year probably. And it's gonna... I'm not writing anything off. Gonna land with the thud. I'm not, I'm not writing anything off. When are we gonna get... I think they got the best... They got, look, they got the best just loud and clear. People aren't hyped for the gameplay. Okay. The gameplay trailer come out, came out, people weren't hyped. And then the game gets delayed. Coincidence? Coincidence? I think not. So, I what, think they're what, fixing it. What are we... What's next for and One Piece games? Look, at least they're taking the time to go back and fix stuff instead of just playing and releasing it. Okay. And I think they have that freedom because Jump, Jump Forces is coming out. Yep. They don't have to... Put out a game. Put out a game because of Shueisha agreement. I hope we just get, like, RC some works next because of the reception from Dragon Ball Fighters. But we'll see. What if it's One Piece cross Dragon Ball? I can see that happening. But, I don't know. One Piece to... versus My Hero Academia to get that new blood in. <sighs> you know? <sighs> Whatever. So no, that's the gaming news, aside. Jump Forces might be alright. We'll Who have knows? to wait Who and knows? see. Will we buy the game? Probably not. Probably not. Smash is coming out. Unless we get it for free. There's too many good fighting games coming out. Yeah. Got Smash, got Soul Calibur 6. And I'd rather get Soul Calibur 6 over Jump Forces right now. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not blinded by complete Shonen Jump fanboyism. Okay. Right? I want a good game. Unless Theo Brand is a Jump Force. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. That's still a maybe. What so, if he screams the world? Oh, he will. Oh, he will. Alright. Anything else about One Piece, Christian? I feel like we did. We did. So let's get into the chapter. Well, not the chapter. The the we, arc review, respective uh, re- reaction, uh, live uh, reaction, re- review, uh, discussion, uh, whatever Exposed. buzz, whatever buzzword you want to put in there. Sure. Now, let's- Here we are, Drum yeah. Island. What do we think, Christian? Just finished Whiskey Peaks. Let's finish that run of Whiskey Peaks, all gone and all that kind of stuff. Is Drum Island my favourite so far? Maybe. Why? But we'll get into it. Because of the flashback? Because of Luffy's determination? No. We'll see when we get through the story. Now, a little side note. What are we calling this episode to get all the spicy clicks? Uh, I can't. Can't think of that right now? Okay. Well, think about it. It's called, like, it, it's just on the volume of speed. We just have to resign the fact that we're going to get shit views this week. It's just, this this episode's good. for the hardcore viewers. Hardcore people out so there. So we're going to get deep. We're going to get into the minutia. Oh, mate, we always do here. Yeah. We always do. We just can't talk about, you know, Kaido versus Jack every week or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about... Anyway. John Marland, retrospective recap. Chapter 130. We're going to say it starts here. Yeah. Because this is when Nami falls sick. Well, they're merry, and uh, everyone's freaking out. What's okay. happening to Nami? VV starts looking after her. Nami has a 104 degree temperature. Now, I assume... 30-ish. This is Fahrenheit, yeah. not uh, Celsius. Celsius. Because it would be over boiling point. You mean, should be dead. Yeah. So, I assume this is Fahrenheit. Yeah. Which is weird, because why is it in Fahrenheit, but this is in metric? Well, what? Yeah, you know. Maybe Japan used Fahrenheit for temperatures. Hey, whatever, whatever happens. No one knows what happens. I don't know. That's, That's true. a little No, no one knows. Maybe. Apparently, right? Little tidbit. Yeah. Sanji, Usopp, and Luffy do not know what it's like to be sick. Never got sick. Maybe there is something to the whole getting sick in water situation where if you're strong, you don't get sick. Hey, man, I called it. Maybe there was something to that. But what did you say, Usopp? Usopp also said he now doesn't know what well, it's Usopp, like to be sick. Whatever. Sanji's genes will make him not get sick. We know that it didn't work. I mean, right? did it work? No. Did it work? Did it not work? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. What's with the... What? The overacting. I'm just saying. What? Whoa! Yo! What? What? Did, it didn't work. Maybe he's going to unlock his genetic potential. Alright. To fight Zoro. 
Luffy freaking out, we need to find a doctor. Nami gets up and put, puts on a brave face, you know, I'm not that sick, I'm fine, whatever. Nami tells Vivi the situation at Alabasta. Yeah. Because la the chapter before this started, she fainted while looking at the paper, not knowing what was on there. Uh, so, 300,000 soldiers have defected to the other side. How big is this Alabaster army? Massive. It has to be over a million people. Sure. So, we apparently need 5,000 men to take out Kaido. Yeah. But 300,000 isn't enough to take out the Alabaster army. Quantity over quality, Christian. Sure, but there's not going to be all quality in this Wano <laughs> army. Maybe. Maybe 300,000 is impossible to draw. <laughs> <laughs> A real army. And impossible to gather. I mean, 5,000 is also impossible to draw. I mean, you could, uh, you know, you could say this is 5,000. Okay. I don't think you understand how many people is 300,000. It's a lot of people. It's like a whole fucking... You can't even fit... There's no way you fit it out of the panel. Yeah. So, you know, there's, a lot of people have defected. It, it, the situation's getting worse at Alabasta. Alright. Oh. Vivi breaks down at this news. How could this happen? Like, I need, I need to go to my country to go back to Alabasta. I need to save it. Darby goes to deck and asks Zoro where they are going. He says he's going straight and following a cloud, not knowing the clouds... Uh, you know, change direction. Yep. Bro, the wind. Zoro, a bit of a dumb dumb. Yep. Doesn't know how to navigate. Who would have known? Who would have thought? Now, Nami starts to sense the Grand Line weather. With her weird navigation. Is this the point where she unlocks the weather sensing ability? Perhaps. There's a sickness. There's a high temperature. Un awakens. Awakens the weather sensing ability. Maybe. Because has this happened before on the show? Last time we left up, Navi, Vivi was trying to, like, teaching her about the Grand Line. Exactly. So now she senses it. Yeah. Now she can feel it. Okay. Is this part of the sickness? I doubt it. I doubt it, but it could be. Some weird unlocking of... You know... Well, it's only a bit like a body thing. It's because of a fucking animal bite. Or a bug bite. From... Maybe... Maybe Little Garden? Yeah. Because it's like a tropical environment. Yeah, but probably Little Garden. Maybe the bar gave her weather sensing abilities. There we go. Like Spider-Man. Yeah, but she can only sense weather. She can only sense weather. <laughs> so, you know, Nami starts to sense weather and a storm comes. Yeah. You know, Vivi then comes out, makes the call. We need to treat Nami first before we go to Alabaster. Be the good guy. Be the good friend. You know, thumbs up to Vivi. Sure. They see, you know, the weather hits, you know, and now we're in a snow area. End of chapter. Chapter 131. A guy is standing on the water. Who could this be? Who is this mystery man? How is he standing on the water? Wobble then appears with his submarine. Comes out of the, comes out of the ocean. Yep. With his weird contraption. Wobble is trying to get to Drum Island and asked the Straw Hats for a log post. They don't have a log post, they don't have any information about it. Yep. Wobble gets mad, takes a bite of the ship, and a fight breaks out. Luffy sends him flying with a bazooka. Now, Wobble knows how to take punishment. He does. Do you think we got his power scaling wrong? No. After rereading Drum Island? No. Okay. Because he takes the punishment, but he can't deal out the punishment. He's a bit of a tank. Dalton's looking real bad. Dalton? You know, we'll talk about it when we get there. Okay. Alright. Now, Luffy sends him flying with the bazooka. Alright. We then open with a quiet scene of the crew sleeping in Nami's room. Very... Subtle page of Nami waking up, looking around, seeing the crew, smiling and going back to sleep. Yeah. Very subtle. Where is this in the current series? The subtle sort of moments where the crew knows that they're looking out for each other. They're all sleeping in Nami's, in the room Nami's in. Because they're looking after her. Because they're caring for her. They don't want her to, well, you know, get sick. Well, everyone was cared about Sanji. 
Sure, but where are the quiet? Where are the quiet moments? Where's the moments on the on the ship? Yeah, I like. It's a very, very subtle, very cool moment. I really like to draw this, in this moment, just yep. to show that the crew cares about Nabi, and Nabi appreciates that. Sanji's so outside looking out for the sh- for some looking out, you know, the ship. He comments, "It will be a full moon soon." Comment on the one moon. So he's saying there is only one moon because he doesn't say. Moons. You know, for to say moons. Yeah. There is only one moon. I think we have Don't to... Don't let Ohara fool you. Ohara is a red herring. Or it's an ancient bullshit model. Sure. But there's not 19 moons. Yeah. Although it would explain the crazy weather. We've seen the sky... Yeah. With one moon in it. All the time. Uh, uh, we'll cut to the next day. Usopp is fixing the berry. Real bad. Just fucking slamming water into each other. Doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Oda's always reiterating the point that Usopp does not know what the fuck he's doing. He's just he's trying his best. He's trying to fix the shit. Yeah. Doesn't really know how. Zoro, why did you help him? Doesn't want. Zoro is always asleep. Yeah. Zoro is always training. That's what he does. Help, help your boy. Is it the the ship lifted a bicep, doing a doing a bicep curl, lifting a weight? Yeah, that's what he was With doing. A massive weight. Looking out, yeah. yeah. Just looking out, lifting weights. Yeah. Being a meathead. Where do they get these weights from? Just on the ship? I don't know. She's like a bee. It's like the Sunny, when they're on the Sunny, and he's lifting like fucking three tons. tons. It's like, that's and extra it, weight on the ship. And it's in the crow's nest, oh, which, would, which would throw the balance off completely. It's weird. Why is... The Sunny can, can take it. Why is, the ship is. why is Zoro's training room in the crow's nest? Copy in Usopp's... Uh, Factory, you know. Drug factory. Yeah. Or Crazy. Frankie's drug factory. Whatever. You know, Frankie should have maybe th- rethought that design choice. I mean... Maybe Zoro sprung on him. He's like... And when he's that crow's nest is a... Uh, white room. White, white room. He's like, what? That's not... That's not... Uh, Just use a deck. That's not, you know, sad. Just use a deck. Yeah. That's not sad engineering. Yeah. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, Vivi goes into detail about the islands and you have to sail between 16 islands to get to the end of the Grand Line. Because she says you will travel through 16 seasons yep. on the Grand Line. Now, I have a list of Grand Line islands, including the New World Islands, that we have gone to that are detours and shit. Yep. So, we have Whiskey Peaks, Little Garden, Drum Island, Alabaster, Jaya, Long Island... Water 7, Shabondi, Fishman Island, Punk Hazard, Dress Rosa, Hawkeye Island, and Wano. That is 13 islands. Is Wano on the way? I, we're not on the way anymore, though. I know we're not on the way, but will we end up with the 16 islands? No, we line? won't, because we're not on the way to the, gra- to the end of the Grand Line. We're looking for potoglyphs. So you're saying there could be three more islands? We're on 13. With what, Wano. What, what's, what's the last... Log pose Islands. Islands. This is no raft up. Is it Punk so it's, Hazard? It's, it's going to be... No, but what was the last one the crews went to? Was it Punk Hazard? Not even that, because they just went there because of a voice call. But it, it's an island on the Grand Line. So how many... It's in the how order. many pre... pre we have to assume we're going forward. But how many on the Grand Line were there? Uh, I think seven or eight. Yeah, so there's another eight in the order. Yeah. To the grant to the to Raftel. Yeah. Not to Raftel to the end. So is there three more three more islands? Left in the story. Left. To travel to. Well it's kinda of weird because it's gotten all fucked up. Well we could go Elbath, we could go the final island, and then we could go Raftel. Yeah. So that's three islands. That's sixteen islands. That's sixteen islands. VB prediction comes true. Okay. So who knows? Yep. Saji then spots an island. It's Drum Island. They arrive. Uh, they're looking for a doctor. You know, Dalton tells them to halt. Uh, they're angry at pirates. Goon starts shooting. Vivi gets hit by a bullet. But she stops Luffy from going in. They need to help Nami. They don't need to start a fight. Yeah. Calls, Nami, him, a, calls him a bad captain. Nami. Uh, Vivi smart. Yeah. Vivi holding Luffy back. Teaches Luffy a lesson here. Now. Do you want to contrast this to Hulk Cake Island? Where Luffy says, no, don't go in. 
We have to escape. That's what Pedro wanted. All right? Old Luffy... Think about Jaya. Think about Jaya. Old Luffy would have gone in against Paris Perro. But Luffy doesn't learn, Christian. Luffy does learn. Luffy has become more mature. He's still going to be a goofball, but he's become more mature. His captaining skills have improved. Exactly. Which was all like. So, good stuff. So, you know, yeah. Luffy bows down at the, and asks for the doctor. He will do anything for his crew. Yeah. He will bow down to save Nami. He's did. looking for a doctor. They gain Dalton's trust, but the only doctor is a mysterious witch. Who could this be? Chapter 133. So this is a country with no name. Also, the hiking bear meme is here. Yep. Giant hiking bear. Okay. What's the deal with this hiking bear? Does he have sentience? Is it just a statue? He knows the... He knows the... You know, it walks. Okay. It knows the uh, concept of hiking. It's holding a cane. It's got a backpack. Okay. Is it a mink? The mysterious hiking bear. Is it Beppo's father? Who knows? Mysterious hockey bear. Yes. So, so Zoro starts to train. You know, he can say he trains again because he cut off his leg and fucking. Yeah. Little he tried garden. To anyway. So he's like, "Yeah, I think I'm ready for training. Yeah. Let's do it." And that, that's what Zoro does a whole lot. Does nothing. <laughs> Just okay. Trains. Uh, Dalton is up for election, but he doesn't want the leadership position. You know, oh, I don't want it. People are congratulating him on the victory already. Yeah. It's like, nah, I don't want to be king. I don't want to rule. Okay. He's a bit humble. They take Nami to the house to get out of the cold. Apparently, Dr. Kareha lives up in the old castle. She treats people when she wants and takes what she wants as payment. So, you know. She's a bit of a bit of a free spirit, bit of a yeah, greedy, bit of a mongrel, bit of a you know, yep. very good at her job. Uh, you know, does whatever she wants. We'll talk about Kurei here at the end because it's interesting. So Luffy decides to take Luffy up the mountain to get treatment. Sanji goes with him. We had the first mention of Blackbeard. Yeah, Blackbeard strolled up and kicked Wapple and his army out of the place. Purpose? Disclose? <laughs> Just wanna? I think that nah, I, I think what actually happened is the Wapple army arced up and then yeah. Blackbeard just like Fuck off. Blackbeard flexed and then they all fled. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Alright. Chapter Notice one. Notice the silhouettes two. are correct. Silhouettes are correct. You get to see Blackbeard, St. Olga. Oh the theorists back then would have been all over this Christian, if there were any. Who knows about the old community? Yeah. Long dead. The ancient community. The ancient. The forefathers. The two chan. Alright, chapter 134. The army didn't even bother fighting, they just fled. Yeah. Wobble's a punk bitch. Yeah. Dalton wants to rebuild the nation as peaceful. Because the Impaler got destroyed by Blackbeard. Yeah. A hey. couple of months ago. I don't understand the scale of Drum Island. It's a couple of towns... Couple of towns, and the castle, castle. Is that it? I think so. You don't really get like an an overview or a map or. Yeah, I don't really understand the scale of this this city. Couple this, of towns this, going on. This kingdom. Yeah. It's very really strange. All right, so, you know, Luffy and Sanji are running through the, the snow. They get attacked by the wildlife. It turns out Kareha has arrived at another village, so their journey is pointless. Okay. At this point. Meanwhile, Wapple was recovered and they found Drum Island. A tr- and then we cut. By following the Shore Hats. By following the Shore Hats. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Chess was looking at the Shore Hats. A child, we cut. To a child who won't stop crying at a bar. Kuroha busts through the door. Yep. You know. First sighting of Chopper. Okay. Is it his reindeer form? You know, there's a bit of a mystery there. You don't know what he's there for. Yeah. So, we get Kareha, we get Chopper. Kareha's like, a child who won't stop crying is sick. I must operate. Yeah. I do what I want. They're going to stop me. She's 132 years old. 
because she likes to drink that prune juice yeah. or the plum juice, the pickled plum juice. Yeah. What's the story? She old. Apparently, she knows about the world day. And Roger. And Roger. And all that kind of shit. Now, do you want to talk about Roger now or at the end? Let's talk about Roger at the end. Okay. Uh, you know, she, you know, she treats the kid and takes whatever she wants and then leaves. Half the bar with that shit. Yeah. Just takes whatever she wants. She's, uh, crazy. Yeah. You know. Chapter 135. Vivi, Dalton, and Usopp are going after Luffy to get them to come back. Sanji is fighting the, the Lapids as Luffy protects Nami. You know, Sanji stopping Luffy from attacking. Because you're like, you're going to drop, you know, drop Nami, you're going to hurt Nami. Wobble has now arrived on Drum Island. We get, you know, we get introduced to his goons, Chess and Kuri Marimo. Yeah. The guy, everyone forget, who, who remembers these guys? They're goons. Yeah. They be uh, goons. Dalton is informed that Wobble has arrived and goes, goes into his bull form and starts running towards him. Yeah. Chapter 136. The Lapids create an avalanche. Wapple and his goons versus Dalton. Dalton hits Wapple seemingly one shot him. Yeah. But like, D- Wapple gets up. Wapple's fine. Uh, Dalton spleen pinches all the goons and one shots them all. Chess cheap shots Dalton with three arrows and then he collapses. How big are these fucking arrows? They're like spears. Yeah. Or is it perspective? No, they're pretty big. They're huge. They're pretty big. And the, uh, the volume ends. With an avalanche coming. What is Luffy inside you going to do? Yep. Right. Do we take it from here? No. Make me read your terrible typing. Yeah, scratch writing. Chapter 137. The avalanche is coming. Yep. Oh no, avalanche. Oh, fucking what shit. What are we going to do? Anyway. Shit. Massive mountain of snow. Luffy inside you trying to run away. You know... They start surfing on trees. Sanji throws Luffy and Nami to avoid the trunk. Yeah. You know, avoid getting hit. Sanji gets taken out by one trunk. Come on, Sanji. And then he gets kind of fucked up by the avalanche. It's fucked up. Come on. Alright. You think Zoro's getting taken out by oh, a trunk? Alright. You think Zoro's out for the rest of the arc? It looks pretty fucked. You could imagine it'd be pretty brutal, though. Get fucked up by, the, by a fucking tree stomp. But this is the world of One Piece. Alright. Come on, Sanji. Alright. I get it. You know, we'll get to a parrot now. I don't want to talk about that. Alright. Yet. So, so the, your Sanji gets taken out. You know. Avalanche catches up to Wapple in the town. He's dumb hippo. You know, his hippo could go over it because of his legs and shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it extends his legs yeah. underneath his fur. They still get swept up. When are, we gonna, when are we going to see, like, unique One Piece animals have devil fruits? Or, like, the devil fruits of unique One yeah. Piece animals? Probably never, because that's really fucking confusing. Like, uh, the manticore fruit. The manticore the... fruit. The lapin fruit. Yeah. The, the lapin's kind of a rabbit, but whatever. Mm. Like, the, the, the hairy hippo fruit. Yeah. We might see that in... We might see that in one maybe? It's too confusing. Yeah, I guess. I would have to do one of them. Remember this animal in Drum Island? Yeah. Legit. Yeah. So, Wobble eats the snow to escape. Luffy helps the rabbit escape and picks up Sanji. This will come back. Yes. Someone is coming in. Someone's coming in the distance. Yeah. Alright, next chapter. Wobble and the goons attack Luffy. Luffy doesn't have time for this and he's trying to run. Luffy dodges the rabbits. No, what does it say? Luffy dodges and the rabbits come to help him. Luffy starts climbing the mountain. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal scene. A brutal scene of how committed Luffy is to saving the crew. And his friends, man. He's got Sanji in his mouth. Gundami. Gundami on his back. And he's climbing up his bare hands. hands, Bare feet. Bare feet. Bare feet. Blood. Blood. Frostbite. Getting fucked up. Getting fucked up by the heavy winds. This is the most damage Luffy's taken so far. This mountain. This mountain. Now, how are these mountains being constructed? Are they man-made? 
I don't know. Because it's so sheer. Yeah. With no rock, with no holds. It's got like this ring It reminds me of like, it might be like erosion. By wind. By water. And wind. And wind. Might have been flooded at one point. I don't know. Flooded theory. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. So. But you know, we have Sky Island, so, you know. Anything's plausible. Sure. We have stupid Dressrosa with the giant platform. <laughs> the giant the giant ring of rock around it. Yeah, giant ring of rock with the giant platform with the flower hill. Yeah. Where is the flower hill? Originally. I think it's like On adjacent, the perimeters? I think it's adjacent to the to the castle. I think it's per, a, a perimeter on one of the sides of Dressrosa. Yeah. Just it's, Rosa. A, it's, a, it's the back of the castle, I think. Dressrosa, strange pies. Very strange. So, you know, Luffy's climbing this shit. Yeah. Getting fucked up. Uh, Chopper saves them from falling from the top. Yeah. Because Luffy finally fucking makes it. Chapter 139. Vivi, Zoro, and Usopp run to each other. Uh, Zoro beats the shit out of Wobble's goons and, uh, you know, gets some clothes. Cut to the castle. Nami wakes up. Chopper's freaking out. Kuroho explains Nami's sickness. She was bitten by a bug. She would have died in two days. Nami tries to leave. Kureha threatens her with a scalpel. Luffy and Sanji are awake. And they are trying to eat Chopper Classic. For reserve food reserve supply. Reserve food supply. Classic Luffy trying to eat Chopper. Yeah. Flashback. Uh, Luffy shows his you know, declaration to his friends. You know, he's going to say he's going to do whatever. Chopper punches them and tells them he's not food. He goes into a human form, like, hybrid. Yeah. He goes into a hybrid. Most common form. His original form? Yeah. Like, his original yeah. devil fruit form? Yeah. Luffy tries to recruit Kureha, but she isn't leaving or having any of it. Yeah. Too well, old. Too old. Not interested in the pirate. Darby offers Chopper to come along with the crew. Chopper... You know, flashbacks to no one liking him. He ate the human human fruit. This is where the reindeers fuck him up. Yeah. Luffy went to close the doors, but Chopper will not uh, let him. There's a there's a baby bird on top of the door. You know, doesn't want to. Bird nest doesn't want to disturb the bird's nest. Yeah. Nice guy. Showing Chopper's kind heart, yeah. but the people are getting cold. Chopper, you're a doctor. You gotta close that door. They did. Move the bird nest. Yeah. Why are the birds Why being... is it completely open? Just leave it Why are birds a being bit? born in winter? They're baby frost birds, Christian. Still winter. Yeah. Alright. Chopper's a very nice guy, but... Right. You know, Chopper's a kind heart. You know, Ch- uh, Luffy and Sanji realise that Chopper can talk. They call him a monster. Luffy likes him and wants him to join the crew. Chopper sees Wapple. Chapter... 141. Zoro is done fucking up the goons. They start to look for Dal- Dalton. Chopper tells everyone that Wobble is back. Luffy runs out and he's about to punch Wobble. Uh, you know, they find Dalton. Yep. Six years earlier, the flashback starts. Now, this is a big flashback. Massive. Hiralook is a quack doctor. You know. Doesn't know actual Doesn't know actual doesn't medicine. Actual medicine. He just kind of like... Uh, you know, he just kind of fucks around. He's around. He's a bum. Yeah. That forcibly tries to cure pe- people. Everybody hates him. He sees Chopper's, uh, Chopper, you know, bloodied. In the corner. And, and you know, he helps him out. Why'd you, why'd you actually write bloodied? He's bloodied. What'd you want me to write? Why'd you write the meme of bloodied? You know. Chopper wakes up and is happy. You know, the, the post explodes. What kind of line is that? Chopper wakes up and he's happy. Come on, the potion explodes. Chopper wakes up, he all like gives him fruit, he's happy, and then the, the weird cherry blossom potion explodes. That's what happens. Yeah, but the way you wrote it... Alright. Maybe you should read it. Go on. Because you wrote it. Fuck it. So, you know, uh, Chopper wakes up and something explodes. Yeah. He is called uh, Chopper because he's... Antlers look like 
They could cut trees. Like an axe. They could chop down trees. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, what? Yeah. He's the, he calls him Tony Tony because the first word, like the first part of deer in antler, the first part of um, reindeer in Japanese is Tony. Yeah. So it's Tony Tony. Yeah. And he's like chopper because your animals look like they can chop down trees. Now is he being polite? Make him feel good? Yeah. About his strength? Well, he calls him Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Chopper's happy that he has a name. He's called Chopper, you know, because his antlers look like he can cut down trees, apparently. There you go, tidbit. Tidbit, alright. Uh, Wobble is at the bravery and he's a piece of shit ruler. Dalton is, is having none of it. He's upset. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing, Wobble? Stop fucking hitting Vivi and shit. You fucking piece of shit. What are you doing? Wobble signs Vivi as an act of revenge. As, because Cobra calls him out. Yeah, Dra- they're talking about Dragon. Yeah. And Cobra's like... And Wobble's like, yeah, it doesn't affect me. Yeah, and Cobra's like, shut the fuck up, dickhead. Yeah. Cobra calls him out. Uh, Wobble slaps Vivi as an act of revenge. Vivi acts like it doesn't hurt. So a war doesn't start. Alabasta is winning this war. They have so many men. They have so many men. A massive country, massive military. Better devil fruits. Better, better people. What the fuck Easy. is Chess and Fuckface gonna do? More and more. They're gonna fucking kill one people they get swarmed. Yeah. Here look tells the story of the robber and the cherry blossom tree. His skull and crossbows is, you know. It's like... Is what? What does it say? Is... Against all diseases. Against all diseases. It's a symbol against all diseases. Like... The skull and crossbones represents the against all diseases. But it is also pirates. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk about the cherry blossom theory here or later? What what uh, what is this theory? That the ter- that he saw Wano and the cherry and blossom him. and cured him. Okay. That kind of shit. Maybe. We also see cherry blossoms when uh, Whitebeard and Roger were talking. Yeah. Possibly could be Wano. Okay. Is this place Wano? How did a famous robot get to Wano? Is Hero Lark... Exactly. Is Hero Lark... Shujimaru. Shujimaru. That's a crazy theory. Think about it. Now, will Chopper unlock the ultimate medicine in Wano? I don't Is know. it a metaphor? Is it their actual... I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about this Chopper's dream after this... After rereading Drum Island. Why? It was to cure all diseases. I know, but it's like... It's teed up to like cure... Like... We'll get it. We'll get into it at the end. It's, it's teed up to cure Luffy's sickness it's, when he dies at the end. Basically, it's queued up to I think to do what Kureha couldn't do for Roger. Yeah, that's what I think will be the thing. Yeah, to save Luffy's life because yeah. he keeps getting fucked up from the disease that Luffy will obviously get the same disease that Roger got. The curse of Rafter. Yeah, something, something dumb. Something dumb. All right. Now, is the cure the cherry blossoms from Wano? Is the cure the a kind heart? No, it isn't. Is it bandages? Could be bandages. Is it fishman blood? Uh, you know the bond between men. You know. So we get with the flashback, the robot and the cherry blossoms. Chopper is given the hat, and uh, you know we enter a montage. Of, you know, then fucking, fucking around, around. A year passes. A year passes. Hero look kicks Chopper out. You know, his wounds are healed. Chopper tries to go back in. Hero look, you know, he turns out Hero look was a former robber who was uh, He's the cured one. by the cherry blossoms. He's the robber. Yeah. And he has two weeks to live. So, there has to be some sort of bullshit, mystical thing about the cherry blossoms. The blossom. cherry blossom healing shit. Yeah. Is that what the crescent moon tree is in the flower capital? Maybe. The crazy blossom that fucking heals all wounds. It's crazy if it gets me hero lock shit in fucking Wano. Out of nowhere. What if this was foreshadowing for Wano? Uh, yeah, man, here we are. Chapter 142. Sure. Ace talks about Wano and Alabaster. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Goda. Yeah, dog. So... 
you know, Chopper keeps him out, but he's got one, he's got two weeks to live. Chopper goes out to find the mushroom and to cure Hero-Look. Hero-Look, you know, works on making the Cherry Blossom bomb. Chopper comes back with a mushroom and asks to become a doctor. The order is, gi- is given out to find and kill Hero-Look by Wapple. Hero-Look drinks the soup and the Cherry Blossom is complete. It's Chopper soup, right? Yeah. Yeah. Made from the mushroom. Yeah. Hero Look visits Kareha and asks her to help Chopper and make more cherry blossoms. He knows she will do it. Hero Look makes his way up to the castle. There's also this weird trap that's trying to get him up there, but he goes up there anyway. Yeah. Uh, Kareha slaps Chopper. The mushroom was poisonous. Yeah. Chopper can't read. Well, he thinks that the skull crossbones yeah, is a good thing. Yeah, it's related to the... Because the... the, the Hero fucked him. Yeah. Because Hero Look said that, like, that's a... It's against diseases instead of it being poison. It's against the disease of being trapped. Yeah. It's against the disease of a trapped spirit. It represents freedom. All diseases, including metaphorical diseases. Diseases of the heart of the spirit. Yeah. Freedom is the okay. answer. What if the cherry blossom is freedom? With the cherry blossom. Free Wano, the cherry blossom blooms, well, the Wano, ultimate cure, Wano is free. Wano started with cherry blossoms. Exactly. What if this is all connected? We'll see. Sort of crazy, owner to go, go to the status. Yeah. A kind heart isn't enough to save people. You need the knowledge. You need the knowledge of medicine. You need all that kind of stuff. Hero-Look delivers his favourite speech and dies. Chopper is mad, but he is, you know, spotted by, by Dalton. Stopped by Dalton. He's got his rage form. Yeah. Chopper asks to become a doctor. There's no disease in the world that's incurable. Why did you skip the speech? We know the speech. I thought we could do the... I didn't need to quote it. A man is forgotten. Yep. When his memory's forgotten. A man dies when he is forgotten, Christian. Exactly. That's the only time when a man dies. When he's forgotten. Beautiful speech. Not when he gets shot. No. Not when he eats a poisonous mushroom. No. But when he's forgotten. Exactly. Beautiful. Beautiful speech. Kind of uh, out of nowhere from Hero Look, in a way. Doesn't it? really seem that kind of like... He's not really hell-bent on... Like Is he talking about... The will of D. Perhaps. Is he talking about Roger? Is he talking about the Age of Kingdom? People know. We don't know, But they're trying to make people forget. They're trying to kill the Age of Kingdom by making people forget about it. Uh-huh. Is this connected? Yeah. Is Drum Island secretly the answer to everything? Hero Lock says, my son is coming, don't kill him. Exactly. Back to Luffy versus Wobble. They're fighting. Luffy just fucking around with Wobble. Yeah, the, what's even going on with his fight? It's like, yeah, bro, right. he bites him, fucking turns into the Wobble The focus house. is Chopper. Yeah. Will Chopper stand up for himself in a you know good fight that shows off all his forms? Jump form, leg form. He's figuring it out. He's, he's got using, the brain he's point. He's smart. Yeah. Kureha stops Saji from interfering in the fight. Uh, Rumble's fruit is dumb. It can do anything. What do you mean? It can fuse people together. Now. He's going to steal the powers of Luffy, Sanji, and, and Zoro. Well, Luffy, Sanji, and Chopper. And fuse them into himself. What is going on with his fruit? Now. He can eat himself? What's that about? Is Chess and Morimo actually fused? Or, or is, is it, it some dumb game? Is it a docking situation? Well, he suggests that he could... Still all the abilities of the other straw hats. I don't know how true that is. Okay. Because it's never shown. Kind of But he does fuse with cannons and shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wobble. We devil fruit. Interesting devil fruit. Yeah. Now if this was someone else. It would be a much better devil fruit. Because effectively. You. you why, why couldn't you become a low here? It would rare cold cake island. Oh. Instantly. That's how Luffy won most of his fights. 
He's just eat all mochi. Turn yeah. into kind of curry. Turn into a mochi man. Why can't you turn into any element? Get as hard as a cracker biscuits. Sure. Why can't he turn into an element? He eats that. fire and turns into a logia. Sure. Crazy devil fruit from Wobble. Uh, too bad Wobble's using it. Yep. Kind of the theme from all stupid devil fruits. Stupid villains, yeah. So, you know, they're fighting. Uh, Luffy wins. Does really long gum gum bazooka. bazooka. How far can Luffy stretch? No one we knows. have the answer. If he can stretch that far, rock it up to the Mount Luffy. He's got Nagu on his back, right? He doesn't want to right. drop her. doesn't want to drop Sanji. All right. It's a wider it's a situation where why can't Sanji I enjoy kick Sanji or? kicking Luffy as well. Yeah. To smack... Where's the combos at? Oda? They're here. and They're in the all spot. Okay. It's true. So. It happens. Chopper joins the crew and the cherry blossoms. You know, the cherry blossoms go off. Yeah. When they leave. Can we see it over the castle? Ace... Turns up and leaves Drum Island a message. It, do, it didn't slow that day. Was Ace awakened? Here we go. Cancer theory. You know, it's just one of those things. This is where the crocodile thing comes into play. Which, you know, it's like, whatever, dog. Is it coincidental? Is it a legend thing? Is it like a... Yeah. A hint towards his power. This is what, a week ago or so? Something like that. Yeah. How did Ace know that Luffy was going to turn up? He, he's he got a baddie. He's on the ground line. It's pretty, close, if you turn pretty close to the start. Alright. Alright. Uh, it didn't show so that day. Here we go. Will we get a Roger flashback with Kureha? Why'd you say that? She talks about Luffy. Sure, the Willow D. And the Willow D. And suggest... That she knows Roger. Heavily suggests that she's met Roger. Because they go, have you heard about Gold Roger? And she's like, Gold D Roger. That's what they call him these days, Gold Roger. Did she go Gold D Roger? What? Does she actually say Gold D Some, Roger? I think Dalton says Gold Roger and she's like, at least she's like, oh, that's what they call him these days. Uh, okay. Because that's a reveal. Yeah, it explains... It, it hints very much is f- familiar with him. Yeah. And they've met. Well, she, she's very old. Yeah. So, will we ever get that? Un- when? And how? Maybe when Luffy gets the disease. And Chopper goes on a mystical journey. And like, I don't know. Kureha is trying to cure... We know that Crocus was a doctor, right? Sure. But like... Was Kureha the doctor before Crocus? Was Kureha the woman trying to heal Roger but couldn't? Yep. Who knows? So, first yeah. mention of the Will of D. First mention of the Will of D from Kureha. Yep. And, uh, and Very, said, yeah. people don't bring this up, ever. Nah, people, people know this. Okay. It's, it's Every time people talk fact. about the Will of D, they very, very rarely bring the first instance of it up, I feel. It's kind of just a drop. Throw it out. Name drop. Yeah. And everyone always says the same thing about the Will of D. Oh, you know. Well, now it's pretty close. It's pretty short. We're sure close to getting that reveal. Door. Yeah. Straw hats fuck around on the crew. And Chopper gets used to them. It's all happy. End of the arc. Yeah. Now. What do we think about this arc? I like the aesthetic value of this arc. The aesthetic value... Christian, I like it's those good. snowy mountains. You know what I like the most? What? Wapple's expressions. Wapple has very good expressions. This might be the most expressive character. Most expressive character. His mouth's real big. Yeah. We get that expression of Wapple. You could say dumb faces. Yeah. Sure. That's why I like this arc. Because he's, he's, Wapple's such an expressive character. What else? Uh, I like the frost... I like how Oda's done ice in this one, because it's, it's difficult to do. With snow and icy snow shit. Snow and ice and stuff. And yeah. the mountains and stuff. Yeah. I get that this is cold. And no one's, like, shaking most of the time. Well, there's always, you know, breath. 
you yeah, see the breath. There's breath. Everything's kind of got this weird, like, little bit of snow on it. It's yeah. cold. It's breezy. You get the feeling of the of the chill. All right. What about the what about the story, back? I like the flashback. Flashback's very good. I like the fight with Chopper. Reminds me that Chopper can actually do things. Sure, but is it a, is it a really good fight? Well, remind, just... remind me of the arc so far. Right? We had we had we had to start with. We're talking about we're talking about the best ones. We're talking about Island Park. Talk about uh, Shabondi. Yep. We're talking about Shabondi. Best talking, arcs. We're talking about the ones we've done. I mean, I'm talking about the Grand Line. I'm not talking about of all time. About the, what are you talking about? Talking about I like this arc. Might be my favorite in the Grand Line. Well, the, the ones we've done so far. We've done Shabondi. Uh, before this. Well, I don't understand. I this, mean, like the, the East Blue and then like the start of like the Wisp. Oh, okay. Alabaster start the start of the Grand. The fucking yeah. What Odin's doing? Yeah. Because it's kind of like. Is it better than Alog Park? I think this elevates the everything to a new level in drama. You think so? Yeah. Hit of future shit. Hit of future shit. It, we're, we're, we're world building. I like the expressiveness of the characters here. Sure. It's Chopper as well. Yeah. Well, it's starting to feel like One Piece to me now. We, we, everyone's getting super expressive. Everything's right. over the top. The comedy's pretty good. Okay. It's starting to feel like modern One Piece now. I think Drum Island's the tipping point. So when Oda gets his stride. Yeah. He's destroyed with what he's doing. Yeah. Now, a lot of people love this arc for the hero look flashback and what hero look means and what how good of a guy he is and what he stands for. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. And I, and I agree with that. But is Wobble the strongest villain? He's a bad guy. Okay. He's stupid. He doesn't deserve to be the king. Yeah. But is he a strong villain? I can't say that he is. We just got... Like, we. It's not. It's, it's just not a strong villain. Okay. He's a forget. He's, he's a forgettable. Is he villain. Mister Five. As a villain. Yeah, but you know that's Baroque works. The main villain of that's Crocodile. Crocodile's a better villain, no doubt. Okay. Is he better than? <sighs> he's not as good as Arlong. Yeah. So he's probably like the second best villain so second far. Second best villain, most expressive villain we've seen. He has a clear motivation. Kind of, you know, he's a bit of a scumbag. Yep. You get to understand his plan, he wants to get a king. Luffy's bag. dedication to the crew. First hand. Luffy shows he kinda of showed that at Island Park to be fair. Yeah. But he shows it again here with his determination for the crew, what he's willing to do. For them I think I think it's a great arc. And it's it's short and sweet as well. Short and sweet. But is it as good as Island Park? You don't have the fights. You don't have the the great moments. You do have a really good flashback. Now, is this flashback as good as Balmer's? It's kind of saying the same thing as Balmer's. You know, I'm your real parent. You kids were abandoned, but I'll okay. look after you. You know, you're my you're my kid. I'll look at, I'll I'll cure you. Whatever. It's kind of saying the same thing. Hero, uh, okay. Hero might be a better flashback because you got more elements to it. Okay. You know the cherry blossom law. You know he's a man looking for a cure to the sickness of the country, which is like depression and all that kind yeah. of shit. He's looking to cure people's hearts. That kind of thing. I kind of more of a metaphorical healing. Yeah. So maybe Chopper's flashback is a better flashback, but he just doesn't have. The excitement? The, the excitement, the epic moments that Arlong Park had. Sure. So, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I was going to say 8 as well. I enjoyed this. It's a great arc. It's not the best arc. Okay. Because it doesn't have the strong villain and the strong fights. It's, but, a, it's a battle show after all. Because, like, before... I don't know. Before this, I was kind of feeling like... This feels old school. Yeah. This fi- This feels... Still in, like, the, the struggle of what it wants to be, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got needless plot things like Kirill, like Kareha not being in the city, not being in the castle. Sure. Coming down the mountain for no reason. 
just to get a reveal. It's all like weird plot stuff that you know, I'm still working out. Um, yeah, I think 8 out of 10 is fair. Okay. It's, it's a good arc. It's a great arc. There we go. Yeah. Shall we move on, Christian? Move on to how strong is Shanks? How strong is Shanks? Every week, we come to you with the question of how strong is Shanks? And every week we answer, Shanks is the strongest, Shanks is the god king. But, there are people out there who think Kylo's the strongest. Who think Drag is the strongest. Who think I'm who's the strongest. They are all incorrect. Who Shanks is the strongest. And every week, we come with 100% Factual information, and this week I have a very spicy one, a mathematical based reason why Shanks is the strongest. Okay. Shanks is so strong, his power can only be calculated as, as, a, as a set of infinites. There are an infinite number of decimal points within a number. There are also an infinite number of whole numbers. This is the only way to explain Shanks' power as a number. Shanks' power is the sum of all infinites. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the god king. There we go. There we go. Now, Christian. Top of the show. Shall we move on to the bets? The bets? Okay. We, need, we decided not to open the bets anymore. It kind of slows down the roll. Slows down the show, slows it down a bit. I think after the ch- after the chapter is a good place to do it. Maybe not in House of Shanks. Yeah. But we will, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. Christian, the bet last week. How many... Now, this is a straight up bullshit bet. Okay. Because it's just a guess. Here we go. It's just a guess. Here we go. And it's meaningless. Okay. And there's no point. Now, How many am I fly- going to throw this bet completely out of court... Because of the stupid way you wrote down the question. How many flask potions beakers? Glass objects to mixed chemicals. Yep. Are in this arc. Now, what does glass objects to mixed chemicals now, even mean? Now, remember when... So... You gotta call the L, mate. What's the story here? <laughs> The question take the is bet, inval- the-, the question itself hey, is invalid. Hey man, no excuses. There's no excuse. No, no excuses. I didn't understand the question because it makes no sense. <laughs> and it's a bullshit bet. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm doing the best segment, so you can't do anything about it. There are no skill seek required with these bets, unless I win. <laughs> exactly, Christian. Yeah. I guess 65, you best 45. The correct answer is about 100. So we're, we're both wrong, but you technically get the... I technically get the W. So, the, so the, the score is me in a crisp lead, doubling Christian of 4-2. The, cha- the champion will turn. The king will return. Now, next week, Christian. This is a dark age. It's the only age. It's a dark age. Now, Christian. Next week. Yeah. We're doing a little bit differently I think we're going to run into trouble if we do this because we can't think the same way. But yeah. we're going to, we, we see the bet before the show and we write a number down so we don't do, I'm going to do two and I'm going to do three. Sure. Now we're going to go to the system if you have the same number, but maybe we'll figure that out a lot yeah. more there. The question. How many top knots in the next chapter? Brooke, can you have a top knot? Sanji could have a top I've, knot. I've already, I already know I've lost this one because I've gone too long. Okay. I said 20. Yeah, Christian, do you want to show the number to the camera? Oh. 20, yeah, yeah, 20. 20 for me as well. We're in, we're in trouble here. Why is there 42 written on top? That's 42 for the for the episode number. 
So we chose the same number. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. What do you want to do? We chose the same number. This is a stupid system. I don't know. Uh, we're twin brothers. We're probably going to pick well, the same number every time. Well, I already felt like I've gone too low. So uh, I'm going to up it to 30. There we go. Crazy. 130 panels within, yeah, probably 30 panels within the chapter. Uh-huh. Now, what the fuck is happening next week? We could cut the reverie. <laughs> and then I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really sad to lose it. So this is complete bullshit, random luck. So there we go. For the best. There we go. Now, topic of the show. Very interesting topic of the show. Talking about Viva cards. The volume two of Viva Cards. Taking a break from our... Uh... Wano recap Bernard Bonanza. Wano five Bonanza. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's next week for the people, Christian? Next week is. Do we. It's gotta be Narby, right? It's right. gotta be, be Narby. We'll go Narby. It's gotta be Narby. Next week. So, writing about Narby. Alright. Now. My fucking pages are out of order. Alright, right. what kind of information do we get this week, time? Pretty spicy, some spicy information, some recall confirmations. Okay. Some interesting things to talk about. Alright, so we got, you know, the Vivre card book. Yeah. New booster packs came out about uh, Serum Village and Shibondi and a couple extra characters. Thanks again from Arthur from the Library of Rahara for yep. translating this, not putting his own head cannon in. Yep. Don't appreciate s- it. Don't say things like Zora's the second strongest. Yeah. That's nowhere in there. Alright. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. There but apparently, go. uh, not real information. As I suspected, because Zoro is not in this card pack. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Mihawk, first up. So you know, it's gonna be spicy. Interesting implications this one. He is the world's strongest swordman, who sits on top of the strongest of them all. Implying swordsman. Implying swordsman. But it implies he is massively strong. Yes. At least Admiral Tia, which is correct with the power scale. Of course. People out there say he's not as strong as Admiral, he's not that strong. Ridiculous. Zoro already defeated him. Vista, Vista. Get the fuck out of here with Vista. You know. Alright. He was famous before Roger's death. Young. Young, famous, but it's like he was Zoro famous. I'm sure Zoro's famous when he was a bounty hunter, you know what I mean? So, uh, he was famous for Roger's death. Yep. He fought them all until he had no one left to fight. So he is definitely the strongest swordsman in the world. Yep. There's no bullshit Wano swordsman, there's no isolated Wano swordsman. Mihawk went on a quest, sought out... Every swordsman in the world and defeated them. Now, do you expect to see something about Mihawk and Wano? Because I'm giving, 100%, 100%. It, a, I'm giving it a 2% chance. 100%. I, don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. What? Did Mihawk was I don't buy a Mihawk flashback. We're going to mention. A mention We're going to mention. We have to get a mention. A slight mention somewhere. But I don't know how that's going to get brought up or whatever. Maybe when Zoro announces his dream. Now, does this break... The Mihawk was on Shanks' crew talk. Does it break it? Does it break this theory? Yeah, maybe. He confirms he was, you know, he went on a journey. He was he was famous before Roger's death. So he already got a, already got a name for himself before Roger's death. Yep. Before Shanks. Yep. So what's the story there? They're both at Logtown. That's true. They are both at Longtown. The journey could have been with Shanks. Didn't have to be solo. It sounds like a solo journey, but right. we'll continue. Okay. Originally, his title was going to be the, cl- the clairvoyant. Interesting. Okay. Could this be related to his observation hockey? Definitely related to his sight. His Mihawk, Hawk eyes, everyone talks about how he can sense shit. Yes. So, Mihawk, very interesting character. He's looking for the day until someone could surpass his rival Shanks. Interesting. Now, what the fuck does this mean? 
This means Zoro's gonna surpass Shanks? Impossible! Two emperors of one crew? Implications for this are massive, Christian. Crazy. Maybe we have to Crazy. reorder headcanon. I don't know, these are Viva cards, you know what I mean? Now. Does it surpass Shanks's Shanks's swordsman swordsman skill? skills 10 years ago when they used to duel? Yeah. That's a question. Context needs to be applied, but. Who knows? You know, we'll see. Very interesting line. His favorite food. Guess what his favorite food what is? What is it, Christian? Give it to me. It's not a food. It's red wine. <laughs> red go. wine is not a food. There we go. <laughs> it's a drink. Love some red wine. Apparently, lives off red wine. Okay, there you go. Can't get drunk when you're sore. Now. Man. Everyone knows that. Everyone was waiting for this. Yeah. The Rayleigh information. Here we go. What, what is here to possibly raise Rayleigh up a tier? Okay. And the answer is nothing. We get no additional information yep. by Rayleigh. No extra hype. No extra information. So Rayleigh, unfortunately, stays in the tier. <laughs> Here we go. Rayleigh, he trained Luffy. Alright, we didn't even know that. <laughs> yep. His power in a, is immense and he can block an admiral even at his age. His power is immense. His power is immense. He can block Kizaru at his age. But Luffy can also block Fujitora. Mm-hmm. So is that a feat? Whatever, man. Whatever you want to say. And it even mentions he's degraded with age. Yeah. Confirming that he has degraded with age. Okay. We thought we've gone through this before. So, he is very good at analysing situations. Mm-hmm. Is he the Ben Backman or the Roger Pirates? Probably. Uh, he spends his days at Shab- Shabondi being retired. Oh, yeah. He's retired. He's not training. He's not in, pro- he's not in prime. He's just fucking around. Still bastard. Alright, now to a very related character. We go over the Shaki. She was a big pirate 40 years ago. Oda is beating you over the head and she was part of the fucking rocks. Yep. Alright? Definitely part of the rocks. It is implied she is very powerful. Very powerful. Okay. It's implied. She is also very intelligent. She is Rayleigh's romantic interest. Why did she get off the seas? Do we remember? No, she just said, I gave it up. Okay. Perhaps after the rocks disbanded. What's her favourite food? Whiskey. Yeah, there we go. Whiskey is not a food. Whiskey it's a drink. and smokes. <laughs> Whiskey and darts. Yep. Yeah. Alright, now we're moving into the supernova territory. Body. She indeed has a relationship with Kuba. And wants to take revenge on a certain group of people. We don't know what this relationship is. Yep. We have no idea. Body looks like Connie. Confirming Connie is a real person. Who the fuck are? Oh. The old lady that she dressed up yes, as in yes, Reverie. Yes, yes. Confirming real person. Yeah. She has a past with the world government. Connie. No, Body. Okay. Apparently has a past with the world government. Yep. Her crew did not escape with her during the Marine... After Marine... Did not escape with her after captured by... Okay. Yeah. She managed to escape on her own. Does not say if she has a... Devil Fruit or not. <laughs> okay. Which is interesting because Oda confirms Devil Fruits for everyone else but Bonnie. There we go. What's going on with Bonnie? Oda doesn't want to give it the away. Bonnie theories continue. Time travelling alien from the future. Who the fuck knows? Luffy's mum... Every character is body. Current owner of the time time fruit. What if Luffy was born and then she travelled 20 years to the future? Um, Think course. about it. Luffy's not 20 though, he's 19. Alright, kid. And it's going to get edgy. Here we go. His aim is to be the most violent pirate on the seas. What a surprise. The edge. What, but kind, of, what seems, kind of aim is that? He seems to hate people... Who rule over the seas. Yeah. Is he the chaotic freedom? Probably. The strong rule, whatever. Yeah, the stronger oh, yeah. free. What kind of goal is it to be the most violent pirate of the seas? So much edge. Wake me up inside edge. So much edge. Too bad he got his head kicked in. Fuck kind of. During the time skip, he was involved in many fights and indeed lost an arm. Yep. 
Does it say who? No. Okay. But we could do assume stacks. Yep. Which is very disappointing. It is confirmed that he has a double fruit to do with magnetism. Yep. That's all we get. Okay. So it only confirms double fruit for kid. Does not confirm double fruit for body. But she has a double fruit though. But yeah, who knows? Okay. Does does Blackbeard mention the sea stone? Because that would confirm it. You know, when she's all nah, chained up nah, and shit? Not really. But why does she turn into a kid and escape? Probably because of the sea stone. So she has a double fruit. But we don't know that it's a sea stone. A whole bunch of questions there. Yep. Drake. Information on Drake. He challenged Kylo with the intention of joining him. Mm -hmm. He wanted to become his subordinate at all costs for some reason. 100% Drake's story in Wano. Okay. We're going to find out why. What do you think it is? Is it an infiltration mission? Is it that he actually wants to join him? Does Zoro bring Drake into the story? Could do. Okay. Could do. Who knows what's going on with Drake? That's probably what is it, right? Yeah. You would have shoot. What? What's his? What's his story? Does he actually like Kylo? Ex Admiral, ex ex Rear Admiral. Yep. Rumored to be strong as fuck. Has connections with Dovaminko. Has connections with the world government. Okay. Why does he want to? Why does he want to join Kylo so badly? Is it some kind of benefit? Maybe why he wants, Kylo maybe he wants access to Wano specifically. Maybe he knows that his devil fruit is on bread. Okay. And he's all about that on bread. And he needs to be on bread. Yeah. With Kano's aesthetic. Okay. Who knows? Does he even have a crew? Yeah, he's got a few people with him when he what? when he goes to that dome. Whatever. Drake, some sort of goon. Yep. Law, nothing new, but he is indeed the doctor of the crew. Kind of confirming that no one else is a doctor of the crew. There are doctors though. But he is the doctor. Yeah, of the he's crew. the doctor. But there's a bunch of I. I assume everyone has medical, some kind of medical training on their crew, so like John Bart. I don't know. Apu, the only information we get is that it indeed is confirmed he has a devil fruit that lets him manipulate sounds and create instruments and shit. Fuck Apu. Yes. And that's, that's it. Okay. That's all we got. Nothing much. Nothing about Zoro. Nothing about Zoro. That I can see here. From Arthur, which I trust. So that information might be fake. Might be Zora fanboys going out of control. Pretty standard. Who knows? So, that's it. So, that segment. Now, next card pack is Arlong Park and. How are we going all arcs? What's, what's the story? They're like booster packs. Well, how long are they going? What's the story? Do you know? Uh, the book will fill every character. Every character? Apparently. That's spicy. So, we're going to get uh, the next two packs to come out is the Impel Down pack and yep. the Island Park pack. Okay. Impel Down pack might be interesting. Yeah. Get information on uh, maybe a bit of a Dofaminko. Maybe a bit of. Okay. Maybe a bit of Magellan extra information. Wait, is it about the arc or is it about the, the place? A bit of both. Like, it's weird. Okay. Like, it tells you what happened in the arc and what's happening now. Okay. Might get a little bit of Hannibal information. Might get a little bit of if, confirming if Molly was indeed the dude that was doing the mines. Might get a little bit of Volkov information. Might get a little bit of. Uh, bon Clay. Bon Clay. Might get a little bit of fucking uh, Shiryu. Yeah, more of uh, Blackbeard's crew. Blackbeard's crew, all that kind of stuff. So, Impel Down will be interesting. Arlong Park, maybe we might get a little thing about where Arlong is now. Okay. Because he's not in Impel Down. Yeah. Where's he being held? Why do I remember him being in jail clothes? I think that's filler. Okay. Of him looking at the newspaper. Yeah. So, there's that. Now, power scale? Alright. What's the story, Christian? What do you got for me this week? Now, this week, do we want to just go... And clear out Joe Island. Just clear it out. What, Dalton and Chess? What do we cut both of We talk about Checkmate. Talk about the fusion of Checkmate. Uh, well, well, I'm scrolling down. We're definitely scrolling down. No doubt. Now, I believe we have done Dalton. You want to check it? 
Duval, Paulie, yeah. Trash. Dalton would be in low low, dude. Oof. Baby. No, I don't see Dalton. We'll do we'll, 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 whatever you want to choose. We'll go checkmate. Okay. Diffusion of chess and Morimo. Yeah. Forearms. Uh, Morimo, does Morimo have a devil fruit? Yeah, is it a devil fruit? Is it not a devil fruit? I don't know. He's got weird like furry gloves that make you stick They're like shit. hair. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know. What's going on there? You can light him on fire. You can do some sort of cool air slash. Yep. Has Zoro shown a pound counter at that point? No. No. So he's got that goal for him. It's ah, uh, it's either low low. It's it has to be low low. Or even Crock is a wobble. This is five. VV is in low low. <laughs> we we debating trash or low low. Yeah, is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. Seemingly one shot by Chopper. Right? The He'd beat Koza. He'd beat Spade if he beat Flompey. I feel like Spade could beat him with the sword coming out and flopping him. Chopper had to go in for the weak point. That's Chopper's, true. Chopper's pretty strong. That's true. Physically. Yeah, they're alright, Lord. Yeah. Beats Jono and Yazuko. Easy. Anyone could beat him. We could beat him. Exactly. Confirmed. Alright, low low. Well, low is gonna have to be. Early, How early do we feel about low low, them versus anyone in low low? They beat Alveda? <laughs> could, you, could you still believe that Tashig is in low? Hilarious. <sighs> Fucking Tashig, he's so trash. Oh my god. I think Wobble's fair. Where he is. It's a little bit of a leap for him to go into low. It's too, it's too much to go to low. Yeah. Because it's not getting to Alabaster. Alright. Yeah. Low low checkmate. Now, is Dalton in trash? Now, he speed blitz all the goons and all the goons, he has a devil fruit. So he's already stronger than Yosko Johnny. We see him in the Reverie. Maybe he's gonna upgrade. Maybe he's got a little training. Okay. But we can't confirm that. We can't deny that. Alright. He does have a Zoan fruit. Which gives him extra buffs. Does he be VV? Three spears took him out. Yep. And it was a cheap shot. Yep. He did take out all the goons. He did speed blitz wobble. Yep. Which is like... <laughs> it's like split bitching a stationary chair. You know what I mean? Yeah, waffles are dodging anything. Yeah. So... Ah... Uh, how many Delphrys could Wobble eat? You know what I mean? Oh, that's not even confirmed or denied. Alright. Because will he just explode? Because of two Delphrys rules. If he eats Luffy. Yeah. I don't know. No one knows what happens. No if one knows if you... Apparently you die. So I'm going to say... Oh, Dalton. I can't say trash. Because he has abilities. Because he has combat skills. Yeah. He's a soldier. He's a soldier. He's fought in battles. He won't give up. Yep. He's brave. That's points. He's got a zone devil for it. He's got a zone devil for it. He's got, a, he's got some sort of weird sword axe thing. Okay. Weird shovel sword. Yep. So, I'm going to have to go low low with Dalton. What do you reckon about that? I think that's fair. Check, I mate. think he beats Vivi. Vivi doesn't have much attack power going for her. Could you imagine Dalton coming back in the arc and defeating Checkmate? Maybe. Maybe. You could maybe see it happening. Yeah. So I'm going to say low low. Okay. For Dalton. Yeah. There we go. I believe it's time. For the question corner. the question corner. Not many questions this week. Understandable. Everyone's sleepy from the break. Is there any questions about next week? What do we hear? What do we expect? From OG Perps. Have you guys heard that Oda said One Piece is 80% complete? Yes, we have. Do you think we'll see Albaf and learn the, the contents of the reverie and other mysteries we want to know before you know he rushes to the end of Raftel? This is the thing about reverie. We can't get all the secrets because then it'll be spoiled. 
Now the first question is: Do we believe that eighty percent is complete? Christian was on the f- uh, on the. F- he was saying yes. I would say yes because it adds up. Some people say it doesn't add up. I'm saying it does add up if you think about the timeline of what he's actually said. Okay. So. But we still got twenty percent of the massive story to go. We will see Albaf. We will see Raftal. One piece is what twenty years old. Yeah, that's four years left. It's four years. I mean, what? Why does going to be three years though? There's, there's question marks. All right. What does eighty percent even mean? Is it arc? Is it contextual in actual page or is it story content? Yeah. That's yeah. what you got to think about. What does the eighty percent actually mean? So I think we'll we'll, we'll get everything. I don't think Oda's going to leave anything out. Yeah. We'll get everything. He's gone long enough. They're not going to be like, all right, hurry it up. And it's not like sales are slowing down either. Yeah. They'll increase when we get to the final war, that's so, for sure. Could you imagine how, how many volumes will the Shanks arc, will Luffy V Shanks sell? A lot. I hit fuck load. It will break records. It has it to might, it, it might it break will, records. It will break records. From Brandon. Did I miss something, or has the Emperor of Wano ever been brought up? Or is it like some double, you know. Double thing where Kaido is the Emperor of the Sea, but also the Emperor of Wano. Now, doesn't Shogun mean Emperor? Yes. Some kind of confusion from, from a few people. Um, explained it. Basically, like, the Shogun is a general, but... So, the Shogun was the lead general of the Emperor's army. But yeah. when it entered into the, into the era, the Meiji era, I believe... Yeah. Uh, it became a military dictatorship, and the Shogun assumed power. So Shogun... Assumed ultimate power of the country. Shogun is the Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There we go. And the last question, Chopper stopping Big Mom, Big Mom's swing in the new opening. Is it blasphemy? Yes, it is blasphemy. It's blasphemy just because of how shitty it looks. He doesn't even close his fist. He, like, slaps the sword. Yeah. Bad opening. Bad moment. Makes no fucking sense. It never yeah, happens. more scenes added this week. One scene added this week because it's a reveal. Yep. Now, all the scenes will be unblanked when the reveals happen. Now, my argument is, don't even have him in there if you're just going to... What's the point? Okay. So, there we go. There it is. It is blasphemy. Pretty sure there's another episode in the books. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel, of course. If you got this far on a rever- on a re- arc review recap episode that no one watches, let us know if you got to this point. What's the, what's the secret code word? Uh, just know. put Shanks as the Go King. You know. Well, people are gonna put that anyway. No, 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 no. just put Shanks as the Go King if you get to this point in the in the video. Yeah. True hero. Yeah. True fan. Questions, Christian, and uh, uh, put them in the comment section, SoundCloud, all that shit. Yeah. JoJo Show coming up this Saturday. Should be a good episode. Buckle in. Definitely. Thanks to Good King. Yes. <laughs> what, what were you going to say? I was going to say next week should be hype. All right. Because we get a chapter. We get anything could happen territory. We're on that, we're on that crossroad. Where we can cut, we can do whatever. Yeah. Start a B plot if we want. With Zoro, who knows? There we go. Chase the good key. Have a good night. I don't know about these nebulous bets. What do you mean? Well, how many fucking... Wow, how many fucking go?